Hi, Dr. Shelby here. I'm going to discuss cataracts and what to expect before, during, and after cataract surgery. This video is broken into three sections. What is a cataract? What to expect during cataract surgery? And what to expect after cataract surgery? Feel free to jump around to any section. What is a cataract? The most common cataract is what we call a senile cataract. This is a cataract of aging, which is simply a color change of your God-given lens. And it happens as we get older. It's basically a reward for birthdays. When we're born, our lens is crystal clear like a glass of water and has the consistency of jello. As we get older, our lens slowly turns yellowish brown, thickens, and becomes denser. It's like taking this clear glass of water and slowly pouring Coca-Cola into the glass of water. This is a very slow process over time, kind of like a glacier moving. As the cataract worsens, you begin to notice symptoms like glare at nighttime, especially while driving, trouble seeing details in dim situations, and loss of contrast sensitivity, which is that fine detail. So like golfers lose their ball easily. Hunters can't see the details at a distance. People who like to sew have trouble threading needles and colors just seem washed out. You just can't see like you used to. We tend to get glasses and our contacts updated. You increase the power of your reading glasses. Remember, this is a slow, subtle process over time. These changes in vision don't happen overnight. Some cataracts can happen at earlier ages for different reasons. Diabetes commonly causes cataracts in an early age. The worse the blood sugar control, the sooner they can occur. Steroids in any form, oral, inhaled, nasal, or injected, can cause cataracts to form quickly in some people. A history of eye trauma can also cause early cataracts. Sometimes they just happen. The good news is they're 100% completely curable. With cataract surgery. It's time to have cataract surgery when the symptoms of the cataract begin to affect your quality of life on a daily basis, even with updated glasses and contact lenses. There is no reason to wait to have cataract surgery. Remember, cataracts never get better. They only get worse over time. And life is too short for blurred vision. Cataract surgery is simply the removal and replacement of your natural God-given lens. It is the most common and safest procedures performed on Earth. Worldwide, there's about 20 million or so cataract procedures performed with an estimated 3.7 million a year in the U.S. alone. And the surgery is not that bad, which I know is easy for me to say. And this is what happens. You're admitted to outpatient surgery where you don't even have to change clothes. You do the obvious obligatory paperwork and are then taken to the preoperative holding area where your eyes dilated and an IV is started. There are no shots and you are not put to sleep. Relaxation medicine is given through your IV once you're taken back to the operating room. Your eyes completely numbed up with drops and the skin around your eyes cleaned thoroughly. A drape is then placed over your eye to ensure a sterile surgical field. A speculum is placed in the eye to hold your eyelids open. Full disclosure, this is the weirdest part of the procedure because your eyes numb, your eyelids aren't, so it feels like you want to squeeze against it really hard at first, but that quickly goes away. You'll then see a bright light from the microscope. This is the part where I'll be showing real surgical footage. So if you're squeamish, turn away. A small incision is made on the edge of the clear cornea and a little more numbing medicine is injected inside the eye. A small amount of support material that we call viscoelastic is then injected to keep the eye full. A slightly larger incision is made through the clear cornea about three clock hours away from the smaller incision. We remove the cataract through this incision. The bag that holds your lens, the capsule, is then carefully opened. This provides access to your cataract. Your lens is freed from the capsule or bag with fluid. An ultrasound, which we call a phaco emulsifier, is used to gently remove the densest parts of your cataract. Once the bulk of the cataract is out, a smaller vacuum is inserted to clean and polish the remaining pieces. This leaves the capsule bag completely clear. Once your entire lens, your cataract, is removed and the bag is clear, more support material is injected into your eye. This keeps the eye full to allow placement of the new lens. The new lens is folded like a burrito and then injected through that tiny incision. It gently unfolds and is carefully centered back into the capsule or bag. Once the lens is centered, that small vacuum is placed back into your eye and the remaining support material is carefully removed. After the support material is removed, the small wounds are sealed with fluid. 99.9% .9 of the time, cataract surgery wounds do not need any sutures. Once the incisions are sealed, a small amount of antibiotic is placed inside the eye and the procedure is done. A clear plastic shield is placed over your eye before you leave the operating room. You're then put in a wheelchair and taken to your family in the waiting room where a nurse will go over all the post-operative instructions. 
expect to be at the surgery center for about two to three hours. Routine cataract surgery itself takes about six to 10 minutes, is painless, and thanks to the sedation, most people don't remember anything. Immediately after surgery, you will notice an improvement in your vision. Everything will be brighter and more colorful, it takes about a day or two for any swelling in the wounds to come down and your pupil to come back to normal. During that time period, you may notice a little foggy or hazy vision. You're typically seen in the clinic the same or next day to check the wounds and your eye pressure. You're generally seen again about a week later and then again at a month. Within the same week or a week later from your first eye, the other eye is done to provide you with a matching pair. And just for FYI, most every patient will feel like they are more aware of that second eye than the first one. This is not unusual and doesn't mean anything is wrong. Recovery is quick and painless. You'll want to take it easy the day of surgery since you've been given sedation. So no driving, operating heavy machinery, and it's recommended not to sign any contracts. By the next day, you feel good and your vision's already better. You can get back to most routine activities, including driving. We generally like for you to avoid bending at the waist and lifting anything heavier than about 10 pounds for five to seven days and avoid any activity that would put you at risk of bumping or rubbing the eye. Most people believe that the bending and lifting will cause pressure behind the eye and everything will just come flying out. That's not the case. We make self-sealing incisions, so the more pressure behind the eye, the tighter it seals. The reason for no bending or lifting is to minimize the risk of trauma. So when you bend down or you pick something up real heavy, you're at a higher risk of falling and bumping the eye, and that's what we want you to avoid. After one week, you can get back to routine activities, including getting back to the gym. What about sleeping? We have you wear a clear shield at night for the first five to seven nights. This prevents you from rubbing or putting pressure on your eye while you're asleep. On a side note, in between me and you, don't tell the nurses I told you this, as long as you wear that shield, you can sleep on that side. Vision will fluctuate for a week or so as the lens heals in. Most patients will need just reading glasses for up close, depending on the lens you choose. If you need prescription glasses after surgery, we usually wait about three weeks from the time the second eye is done to allow your vision to completely stabilize. You will use eye drops for a total of four weeks. We'll have you on an antibiotic drop for the first week, a steroid drop that you will taper over four weeks, and an anti-inflammatory, usually just once a day until it runs out. You will become an expert at putting drops in, or at least your significant other will. Cataract surgery is one of the most profound procedures you can have. The results are immediate and long-lasting. Patients will see better than they've ever seen without glasses. If you've been told you have cataracts or are about to have cataract surgery, I hope this was a helpful guide on what to expect. Check out my other videos on cataract and lens related topics. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below or send me an email at seebettermd at gmail.com. Because when you see better, you live better.